It's Heavy horses, now. Up there, we meet another problem. Because going home to standing on the left of the box, smashed his hand up recently, and although he's driven his pairs in the ring, he didn't feel that he smashed up hands. Oh, yeah. take the pressure that he gets on his hands, driving, 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 driving that team of four. All wonderful rides. And please, ladies and gentlemen, in the stand, don't... Wagon. Don't clap and cheer as they come past. The um, lead horse on the offside, on the right-hand side, hasn't done this before at a show. So we'll, we'll give it a cheer when it gets over to the far side. Gavin will approve of that. But anyway, Gavin couldn't drive. Gavin standing on the left of the driver as coming along here. And so fairly quiet now, just quiet as they go past. You can see a little bit wary, thinking what's going on and everything else. That's fine, Gavin. And driving the turnout there is John Owens. Uh, John worked for the Federation Brewery for many years, and you all know where the Fed Brewery is. Um, He's been in his a lifetime working with horses. He's now helping Gavin with um, his horses at the museum. Um, and, but you can see what a wonderful job he's doing. He's driving there extremely well. What a wonderful team. We don't have the other competitors here. I mean, these are the automatic winners. But what more could you want? A team of four there, one very young horse amongst it, and going absolutely beautifully. Now, our judge is Mrs. Skinner, and she comes from a brewery up in Scotland, and she was awarded her MBE fairly recently, and she got in for the work that she's done with riding for the disabled and driving for the disabled. Now, we don't mean driving cars, we mean driving horses. And we certainly don't mean driving four great ton plus um, clients as we've got there. But she has worked with various people developing specialist carts that disabled people can get into, possibly in their wheelchairs, and drive and get that great feeling of independence. And they get into it and they can drive and so much independence. If any of you have got um, horses that are quiet or ponies that are quiet and you would like to do some good, then if you look on the website at the Riding for the Disabled or Driving for the Disabled, you'll find the local group and the whole of Great Britain is covered by RDA groups of volunteers who work so intensely to help um, disabled people learn to work and ride horses. Now look at that young horse at the front there. He's just pushing over a bit of a bijo. One of the first time I think he's actually been to a big show like this. What a proud fellow. Now the other thing that we've explained previously um, was the <coughs> setup that you're looking at. How does the power, four horsepower, it's a lot more than four horsepower really, but how does that four horsepower get through to the vehicle it's pulling? Well, the front two have got their chains on their collars. Sorry, I don't know. The collar here has the chain running through it, supported from the saddle here and it goes on to a whipple tree at the back here. Each pair has a whipple tree linked to the whipple tree behind, which is on the pole. The pole is the steering mechanism of the bogey on the front of the car. When the left-hand horse comes around to the right, it pushes the pole this way, and hence the bogey wheels turn round as well. So the power goes through the chains to the whipple trees, these red wooden things, onto the whipple tree connected to the pole, and then down the pole onto the cart, but also these chains here connected to the collar also do that. So the power is running down the chains, and in this case, down the pole. Now the other thing you'll notice with these horses at the back, they've got a bridging strap here, which is the brake, which stops the car from running into their backsides. As they slow down, then the car takes a few moments to slow down. There is a brake up there, and you'll see that 
Um, John has got his foot on the brake, but it's not you know, highly, highly efficient. And so the bridging strap is absolutely vital. It doesn't matter so much for these two guys at the front. They've got quite a lot of slack there, and these two are slowing anyway. Just remember, one of these, which is the young one. one. Yeah, she's done.